All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I am Knight in Phoenix. I am with my brother, Grey Ghost in Phoenix, who apparently is in the dark again. So as you can see, we are doing um, bush trips, Patagonia, and we are in a group, Grey Ghost and Knight, we're in a group together. I don't think it makes any difference if we are or not. Uh, Patagonia. So you can see on my screen it's daytime. Flight conditions in a bush trip. These are pre-programmed by Microsoft or whoever does it for Microsoft. So you can't go in and change any of the variables. So flight conditions. I'm clicking here. Nothing happens. Nothing comes up. I can't change anything. Gray Ghost can't change anything. I am the group leader, which locks him out from being able to change conditions. He should be taking on my conditions. So, what we'll do here, and I can't show you unless Gray Ghost records any of this. We're going to click continue. Get this loaded up. Uh, bush trips are long VFR flights focused on sightseeing. So as you can see right here in the preview of the screen, it's um, daytime. Grey Ghost. So that's my plane here. So I'm going to click ready to fly. Go outside here. Uh, let's move the VFR map. I can hear him. Okay, there's Grey Ghost. And um, what are your current conditions, Grey Ghost? Pitch black. Pitch black. Because, let me see, if I do go inside, do a control one. It is 10.38, which would be 10.38 a.m. here. And on your screen, Gregos? It is 0026, so 26 after midnight. 0026, 26 minutes after midnight. So we are desynced by a good 10 hours. But we can't be desynced because we're not syncing. It is a built-in condition into the bush flights. This is two in a row now. The first bush trip, or the first leg and the second leg worked fine. We are both in the daylight. The third, the third leg, Gregos is in the dark. And now this one, he's also in the dark. So we don't know what's going on. We both quit the game. We both actually restarted our computers. We have no idea what's going on. And say so you can't change anything. If I come in here, let's see, Grey Ghost is still in the group. Um, I don't think there's anything here we can change. My new flight models. No, there's just nothing that you can. It's built into the game. It's all pre-programmed. Alright, I'll get myself turned around as well here. Turn the brakes off. <laughs> yeah, I should have went to the other end of the runway, but... What the heck? No. It's not stopping because I'm not holding the brake button, that's why. <laughs> it's holding B. All right, so this one we're going from SCNY to SCAZ. And it is 35 miles. SCAZ. Oh, okay, it's up this way. Or right, we just came from that way. Okay, so... 
Turn on some ISO lines there. We're going to need to get some altitude, I think. Gonna fly us through here somewhere. Or not. No, it's the other direction. Never mind. Okay, so we are going to take off. We're going to take out a heading of 345. Head along the river and you should see a fork heading north through a dense forest. Follow the river as it runs north and bends east to another fork. Continue following the river east. Alright, uh, two, three, five. We're actually... Do you want to set any of this stuff up, um, Gregos? Um, you need what? Um, autopilot? No. No? Okay. So, let me turn that off. Turn that off. And we're just going to give myself an altitude. I'm going to go reset it for 3,500 feet. Okay. 3,500 feet. And there's nothing else really to do. Okay, we'll come on here. We got some flaps. Trim is at 26%. Alright, I'm ready to go. We're taking off and turning left. Yeah, I mean, it definitely, before I ever get off the ground, the right wing always wants to tip down. Us to go over this mountain to the right here. This is ridiculous. We just took off. The only way to do that. We do a couple of circles is to gain some altitude. Okay, well I am <laughs> gaining over 1200 feet per minute. I need to turn right at this point, but I can't. Simply don't have the altitude. I think I want to go... four thousand feet. It looks like I should be safe. I'm going to engage autopilot.
doesn't look like our pilot is engaged. I didn't I do nav. Didn't engage the nav. I'm thinking 4,000 feet may not be enough. I'm still climbing 700 and some, almost 800. So I'm at 3,800 now. Let me take it up to 5,000. Uh, so we need to do vertical speed on, increase vertical speed. Ooh, heading just changed. 300 feet. Let's go 400 feet per minute. Yep, my hand just changed to two. Okay, so here's this body of water down here. So we're going to be taking a left through this valley. Sort of. I'm thinking 5,000 is going to be good. I'm at 4,800 right now. Yeah, we should be making a left-hand turn any moment. There it goes. Because we are definitely here. You can see that river or that lake down there. We should be going northeast now. So these, this mountain range here is probably on the other side of this lake. So you shouldn't have to worry about getting over those. cloud here. Or a big updraft on the mountain that's picking snow up off of it. 
We're about to fly right through it. We'll find out. Hmm. I don't know why I was doing negative vertical speed. Now on the other side of the mountain, I'm going high again. I've been at negative four and I'm still climbing. I'm at 6,100 feet. Yeah, I'm just right covering right around 5,000 where I set it. Oh, I set it with the Alt 1 or Control 1 over to uh, 3,000. <laughs> okay. Well, definitely something broken. It would seem. 74% engine. Yeah, I'm 100% engine yet. I'm doing 120 knots. I'm just into the yellow. Okay, so got another course change. Could be the last one, couldn't it? Uh, the last one. I'm not sure. I, I, I thought it was the last uh, um, horse change, but no, there's a few two more. Maybe we should get 26. Shoreline, head across the lake and onwards toward the shoreline ahead. Okay, there's the shoreline ahead. At which point we're going to be taking a course of 287. That's a big change. Head northwest at the shoreline, followed around to a river opening at the northwestern bay. No, we're at the northwest. No, we're at the northeast shoreline. What are they talking about, northwest? Unless they're talking about the big lake up there. Probably. Not this smaller one here. So when we get up to the lake, I believe we're going to take a hard left. And now we're going to be coming into another grass field runway. Well, I don't see any white lines on it at all, so... Or are we going to be up to me to find it? Mm -hmm. Zero two six. Still up here. That's in Rio as a part of. As a part of. So we turn left, so we'll start heading northwest in a moment. Revolutions, the RPM of the engine never changed. Hmm. Probably at 2750, unless you drop way lower. Yeah, mine's at 2700. I'm at 100% throttle. 2750, I'm at 74%. Mine are, mine are dropping. You're at what uh, percent? 20, 20, uh, 74 percent. 74. Okay, I'm at 74 percent, and they're back up to 2700. 
As soon as I dropped, dropped the throttle, the RPMs did go down. But then they went right back up on my 2699. Uh, it dropped to 45%, I'm at 2750. I think I need to... We're in the final lake here, right? Or not? Two eight seven. That's going to be one more course change. So I'll leave it on. Autopilot on until we get to the next course change. It looks like we could start losing altitude. Set this set it to three thousand, and we'll do vertical speed decrease by. 400 feet per minute. Well, we are heading northwest. So head northwest at the shoreline following it around to a river opening on the northwestern bay. Okay, so I see the river opening up there. I'm gonna follow the river through towards, follow the river through towards the opposite shoreline. Just before it on the southern bank of the river is a grass runway you can land on. It's going to be an interesting one. Right, let's um, cut my throttle to 50%. One hundred knots. One hundred and three. I'm at fifty percent throttle, twenty seven hundred and fifty RPM. Hmm. Mine is twenty seven hundred. It only goes up to twenty seven fifty. And I'm descending at 395 feet per minute. I'm descending at 445. I'm thinking I should probably be descending at a faster rate. And I got it set to 3000. Let's set it down to 2500. Set it for 600 feet per minute. Going down to 2,500 feet. All right, we are on the final approach. Not that I see the runway; it's just the final 276 degrees. It is right along the river somewhere. So let's get rid of this. Keep our eyes open for what is going to look like a clearing. Straight line clearing. That could be a straight line clearing. It could be it. Let me cancel the autopilot.
completely cutting the throttle. Give myself two notches of flaps to really slow things down. And I don't know, but I think. Ah, uh, so hard to tell. This has got to be it. This just looks too brown though, and the map, or the picture looks green. Alright, I'm going full flaps. I still know, I'm this close and I still can't tell. I don't think it's it. That is definitely not a runway. Turn it around. Okay. It is, it's right along that river somewhere. I tell you what, it really does look a lot like. The thing I thought was it the first time. This has got to be it. Yeah, the shape is right, everything is right, it's just the texture. There's nothing here whatsoever to indicate that this is an airstrip. Okay, so I'm going to have to go around. Uh, you see where I'm at? Land right here. Land yeah. here. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm this is it. I don't know if in the dark if you can see what that texture ah, looks like. Ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> oh. What'd you do? Nose died. Oh, I was right. I was almost stopped, and I was pulling back on the stick, and it my thumb had a spaz, and it stopped pulling back on the stick. And just went straight over. Whoa, I'm tipping. What the hell? Oh, I'm going to crash into the trees. Shit. I did. It started... It, the left wing dipped, the right wing went up. It went yeah. to the right. Well, I'm restarting this one itself. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever crashed on a landing recently. Well, I must have at one point.
All right, well, we're just going to restart it. I'm not going to start a new video on it. We're just going to keep the same video going. Just can't believe it after all that. I don't like this plane. Just mm -hmm. the, the flight characteristics of it. It's constantly climbing. And again, it could be that whatever's wrong with our sinking is causing it. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Um... I can try and fly this without the autopilot and see what happens. Okay, turn the brakes off. I don't know where I am on the runway. So. Uh, looks like you're facing me. You're going to be. Sh you're gonna run out of runway and find a river real quick. I'm gonna go to the end of that runway, the same way you're heading right now. Yeah. Instead of having to turn. Man. The way this thing wants to turn full left is ridiculous. It is. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm not a fan of this plane either. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all this damn trim. Take and mine at a negative four on Tetra. Mine's going to a positive six. Alright, so we're going to come in here and do control one. We're going to go ahead and set the altitude for, what did I have at 5,000 feet? that where we ended up having to go on this one? I don't remember now. So. All right, going 5,500. Okay, 16% uh, flaps, fuel 69%, I think I'm good. Ready? Yeah. Okay. I was just curious if it was going to fly me into the side of the mountain, and it was. Yeah. Okay, autopilot is off. I'm climbing... Yeah, it's... It was at a thousand, now it's not. I have zero trim. I'm going to go some... Percent positive trim. Okay, 
Definitely want us to roll to the right. Now let's roll to the left. Oh. Definitely have to use maximum climb rate for this thing to get through here. So it seems to be going, well, I'm in a positive climb rate of 1200 right now. It doesn't seem to be really trying to roll very much on me. It is a bit. Once I roll to the right. Still positive a thousand. What's your turn at? Uh, nine percent. I'm at zero percent and I'm climbing at 785. Yeah, it seems to be a... It's going up and down, but it, it's, I'm going to say in the average it's going to do about a thousand. Big turn. Fifteen hundred feet a minute. Yeah, I was just doing two thousand. Now I'm losing. We got two other people in here now. We got uh, shown some and Cornelius. Oh, both doing a CC-19. Alright, I'm over my speed, or over my altitude. We'll set this down to zero trim. We're going to knock the throttle down to 80%. Five hundred, four hundred, three hundred, two hundred, one hundred. Okay, right now we're pretty level on our vertical speed. That's climbing back up again. Two hundred. Now we're negative. Four 
5,800 feet. I don't want to be that high. Set the throttle for 60%. See if it's any easier to control it here. When you're changing, is your RPMs changing? No. Okay, big turn to the left. Do when I first adjust the throttle, yes. RPMs do change. But then they go right back up. Now I'm losing speed or altitude really fast, 1200 feet per minute. No, 1800, 700. So we're climbing back up, we're doing just over 100 knots. We are right on the line, minus 260 feet per minute and steady. Now it's dipping down fast again. Yeah, it, it's very, very difficult to maintain your altitude. Now, I'm not doing bad, but there are times, like right now, I'm going up and down into hundreds of feet per minute. There are times where, you know, you look down and you're 1,200 feet per minute. What the hell? I'm going to completely cut my engine here. I think we're getting close. Like 4,800 feet. 26. Okay. We've still got to get to 287 and then 276. Okay. That's the final approach. I'm still at over 4,000 feet. So now my RPM is down 2,500. Alright, mine's yeah. still at I'm at 39% and I'm at 2750. Yeah, my power is at zero. Uh, 
want some power, and I'm not sure we're in the right spot. Not for land, is it? We're still on heading 26. Well, I thought it was in this valley, but I'm not quite sure, just based on where the line is. It's got to be in here. Uh, not yet. No, it's got to be in this valley. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, throttle's back up to 50%. Okay, I hear you coming up. Oh, you are. Sweet. See, I thought when we first came down, it looked like that was going to be the landing strip, and then we got close enough. It just didn't look the right color as, you know, it's just dirt where the um, picture in the nav log looks more like it's green. Okay, I'm on course. have not used autopilot. I am right on the line. The line is all lined up. I think it's going to take a hard left here real quick. Yep, there it goes. So it wasn't in that valley. Oh, crap, where the hell? Gotta be in another valley right up here to our left. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had the plane do what it did last time. Just lifted one wing. Yeah. Which then veered me off of the uh, runway and into trees. somewhere. Let's see if I can turn altitude hold mode off. Uh, why would it even be on? You know, certainly not holding my off computer. Yeah.
Yeah, I just seem to be completely lost. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm on the line, it's just where I remember where we were before? No. And yeah, now I think it was the end of this lake before we met the other lake. Seeing a light at the end of this lake that I saw last time. So. A light? Yeah. Like a runway beacon? No. No. Just a steady light right at the end end of this lake. It's, it's on the left of the lake. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see it. I imagine it's because it's dark for you. Oh yeah, yeah. There is a road there, so maybe it's a street light of some sort. It's weird because I'm still at 2600 feet. It doesn't look like I'm all that high. Because this has got to be close yeah. to sea level, right? I mean, sure, this is probably some type of an inland waterway. Could be any elevation. But the big one up ahead, that's got to be an ocean or a sea or something. It's got to be actually sea level, zero. Alright, let's knock the trim down. I had to trim for the longest time at 5%. Positive 5. Alright, that looks like it was the last course change. So, the question is, how am I going to land at this? I can see it. Rattles at 25%. Bringing down a notch of flaps. I just had to have hit that runway way too fast. I'm sorry, because you got trees all the way around it. Yeah. I'm still doing 96. I mean, I'm not horribly high, I'm just over 1500 feet. Mm, engine throttle down to 20%. On the 33% flaps. Get the trim to zero. I think we're looking pretty good, except for my speed. Full flaps. Yeah, that's a tricky one because you gotta skin the three tops there. All right, engine is completely cut. Don't drop me out of the sky yet. Alright, I just made it across the river. Looking good. I'm at 49, 48. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got brakes. I 
We are down. Congratulations, leg completed. Wow. That was, <laughs> that was a rough one. First off, I mean, it doesn't, it, the shape is the same as in the picture, in the navlog. The color of it's yeah. not. The foliage, the grass that appears to be on it, no. It's not not there. Leg um, complete. Nice. Okay. Well, at least we both had to do it over. We both completed it on the second try. All right. So that was leg four. Leg four is now in the books. Let's see. It's only yeah, 11. You gotta try in the dark. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's just after 11 p.m. here. So we got plenty of time. We'll go ahead and do the next leg. And uh, we will see you then.